Viewer discretion is advised. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Train Sim World. My name is Yo Adrian and today we're going to be back with the Peninsula Corridor. Going to be doing the second scenario of the MP15 DC DLC. And it is called the Santa Clara Savior. Basically a local passenger service has failed just outside of Santa Clara. You must take the MP15s out of the fail out to the failed train and bring it back to Seamoff to be repaired and assessed before it returns to service. So let's go ahead and hop in the scenario here and see what it's all about. Alright, so good afternoon. You have been tasked with handling the cutting and forming of trains at Seamoff and dealing with any failed trains. So let's go ahead and hop to the engineer's seat here. Check that out. We actually got two of these bad boys today. We got JPBX 504 and 503 today. Alright, so let's go ahead and climb up those steps. Love the step lights that are on as well. Go ahead and open up the door here. Alright. We'll go ahead and just shut that. Let's go ahead and sit in the engineer seat. So we're going to insert that reverser handle. Set the independent brake to full application, which let's go ahead and do that. Automatic brake goes to release. Wait for the brake to charge, which it looks like it's getting there just about. All right, so we'll set you to passenger, and then we'll set you to leader dead. And generator field will be on. Release you and forward and then wait for a service a report has come in from Santa Clara that a passing passenger service has failed and is now stranded on the main line you must head to Santa Clara and rescue the service okay so let's go ahead and um, do that right there oh, can we not go along the path what the hell I'm so confused I don't know why it wouldn't let me go across that path there, but I don't know. I do not know. So let's go and turn on the dim headlights on this locomotive here. There we go. I don't know. We'll just shut you back up. We'll shut you back up, and then we'll just jump off and then climb up these steps, I guess. There's that entering service right there. So let's just go ahead and start creeping up a little bit. Don't want the horn here, but it looks really nice. There we go. Keep the bell on for a little bit. We'll just start creeping up till the service passes, which it looks like it's going to be we're it's clear of us right now. So let's just go ahead and get five miles an hour going. Alright, alright, alright. So yeah, we got two of these bad boys today. And try to rescue this train out of Santa Clara. So, like I said in the last one, this is going to be more of like a first person uh, episode for the most part. You will see some like third person stuff in the episode as well. But this was mainly meant for a third, or a third person patrol, or not patrol, I'm thinking LSPDFR. Meant for like a first person episode for all you people that like the first person aspect of railroading or train sims and all that fun stuff. So we got about 85 yards to go till 10 miles an hour and about 1.5 miles away from the uh, um, station. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and wait till we get up to 10 here. And then we'll end up yeah, going to 10 miles an hour and then we'll go try to save this train. But hopefully you guys are having an awesome Sunday so far. I know I am. Great weekend off. Nice weekend off. I ended up taking Thursday through uh, Saturday off. Or Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Even though we normally get Sundays off. But I ended up picking those off days off just to kind of refresh and stuff like that. So, going to try. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all the streams that I did. I, did maybe, I don't know how many I'm doing because this is like pre-recorded video. So, it would probably be around maybe one or two. Maybe three depending on time constraints and everything like that. So, We'll see. I, I do plan on getting back in the streaming though. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and try to swing this up to a 10 mile an hour zone. But yeah, there's some... I don't know if you guys heard about what happened in California the other day. But there was an engineer for one of like the short line railroads down there. Ended up intentionally uh, derailing a locomotive to try to crash into a U.S. Navy ship 
called Mercy. And I was like, what in the actual fuck? Why would you try to intentionally derail a locomotive knowing you would go to jail just to try to crash it into a ship knowing your engine's probably going to go in the water and you're probably going to have to pay for the damages of it. And I'm like, people are just stupid, but supposedly he thinks it's too, uh, he thought it wasn't what it was supposed to be and he thought it was like a government takeover or something like that. I don't know. But JPBX907 approach exit, or approach CMOF exit main one. So we got an approach off the CMOF exit here. I'm going to start slowing down. We're at 11, which ain't the worst thing in the world. So he's going to independent break this bad boy up. There we go. Alright, but yeah, so it looked to be like a GP40 or a GP38-2. I actually have not seen any good photos of the locomotive, so I couldn't tell. But yeah, at full, he ran it at full speed off of the tracks before smashing through concrete barriers and chain barriers about 250 feet before where the ship was actually uh, docked, basically. And we got a 40 mile an hour zone over here, so let's go ahead and do that at 35. But yeah, the ship was actually at the port of Los Angeles to help treat non-COVID-19 patients to kind of ease up stress at the hospitals and stuff like that. But he thought it was going to be supposedly like a government takeover type deal. So he ended up trying to intentionally wreck his locomotive into the ship. And he actually admitted to doing it. He admitted to intentionally doing it to the police and the FBI. And supposedly CHP found him fleeing the scene, but they found him, so. But yeah, I was like, what in the world is going on here? But yeah, luckily nobody was injured in the uh, crash, but he did end up, but the engine did leak a lot of diesel fuel. So I was like, what in the absolute hell is going on with you people? Like, I just do not understand what is wrong with people these days. I really do not. Especially trying to like intentionally derail a locomotive just because you don't you think something's happening blah 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 It's like what the actual hell is going on with you people? But yeah, we're currently at 75 points right now Now we're gonna try to speed this down to about 25 here or 35 don't want to go above 35 on that approach signal Dimmed headlights on our rear locomotive as per protocol Let's just go ahead and start slowing her down here because we do have that signal coming up and I can't tell what it actually is. Still can't tell what it actually is. Uh, looks like it is a stop indicator. Um. Showing an approach, but I don't think it's an approach. Oh, it is an approach. Okay, so we're on the left-hand side. Okay, I was looking at the right-hand side signals. Nope, it's an approach. Okay, so yeah, that's not our signal then. Ours is the uh, diverging approach. JPBX, diverging approach, Santa Clara. Mains 1 to 2. Start slowing down for that diverging approach here. Alright, dead tracks right there. Alright, cool, cool, cool. I love how the fucking wheels move in this game. It's so fucking cool. We're on a 20 mile an hour zone. They want us to go via the location, so let's just go ahead and start slowing down here. Turn on that bell for the station stop. You are approaching the failed train. Further reports indicate that one of the generators on the locomotive is overheated. Silly approach the train a couple to the rear. So let's go ahead and contact the signaler. Roger that. Restrict. Approach at restricted. Proceeding at restricted speed. Here we go. So it didn't actually make the station, it was like right before the station. Interesting. Oh no, I don't want the wiper on. 
All right, so we got a stop signal over here, but we are okay to proceed past that stop signal and couple onto our train there. Let's go ahead and start slowing her down just a little bit more. There we go, slow her down at 10. Let's go ahead and stop at the signal here. Even though we're passing it a little bit, but stop and proceed basically. We did pass it a little bit, but that's all right. Cut the throttle at five. Let's just coast her on down. Coaster on down. Even though it ain't coaster, it's Caltrain, but still the same thing. Let's go ahead and just slightly tap on the brake there. You want to speed her up right at about four. Cut her down for the safety stop. There we go. Speed her up about one. Put that throttle into idle. Let's go ahead and just dim those headlights so we're not blinding the engineer. Alright, cue the safety stop. Alright, so we're going to be coupling on to JPBX 900. The engineer is actually not in the locomotive anymore, so he's probably in the passenger cars or something along those lines. Not quite sure, not quite sure. Good hooks, JBPX 904. So we've been given all clear from Santa Clara and all traffic on this section of the line has been halted to allow you to pass. Bring the failed train to seam off. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be doing it from this locomotive here, which is different. Usually they'll have me go over to this one. But, looks like we're going to be going from here. Alright, here we go. So we got power going to the locomotive now. Just want to make sure we're not getting any wheel slippage or anything like that. There we go. Just got to give her a little bit more power. a little bit more throttle all right so we are coming up on the platform there so we'll sound the bell here in a few you got a spotter on the uh, cab over there gonna be spotting us how many cars we're supposed to go and all that fun stuff Alright, so there you see our train is diverging tracks right back there. Got about a mile till our next signal. 1.2 miles till we get to the... Oh, we're supposed to stop at the lead there. Interesting. Alright, so we'll stop at the lead. We'll get our front unit on there. It's about 1.1 mile till we stop. Interesting, 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 interesting. So put the road, radio is going to be on. Except this don't work. So we're not worrying about it. Sun visor we don't really need either. Don't need the cab light either. But it gave us an achievement, so I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> we got a reward, so I'm cool with it. I am cool with it. Alright, so we got about 550 yards left to go till we have to stop here. 
at the Santa Clara North lead, which will do just that, currently going about 17 miles per hour. Another diverging approach signal, so it's going to be a little bit further than where I want, expected it to be, but we're going to go ahead and turn the bell on for the stage for this platform over here. Which I don't really think it is an actual platform. I don't, no, I don't think this is an actual platform platform. So we'll actually just go ahead and shut her off. Those little tri-light signals over there. Very nice, very, very nice. Got 200 yards left to go. Let's just go ahead and release you. We are currently speeding, so go and shut her down to 10. There we go. Didn't even realize we were speeding at the time, but we were. Keep the throttle going. Don't want to stop her right here. Got about 100 yards left to go. Yeah, we are almost there. Just about. Probably have to do like manual switches and stuff like that, so. That's what I figured we're going to have to do. Alright, so let's go ahead and cut the throttle here. Put you back in the idle. And here comes the brake. Initial reduction before the switch. There we go. You've reached Seamoff Depot. Bring the train into the yard and wait for further instructions. Sounds like a plan. Seamoff has manual switches. Climb down. Blah, blah, blah. We're not going to do that because we can just use the map. Just tell me where I need to put this bad boy. Seamoff Holding Yard. Okay, so that is going to be right here. So we are right here. So we need to switch it this way. That's good. That's good. Switch it to there. And we are good. So let's go ahead and take her down there. Got to put some more juice into this. I forgot about that. Got to start her up in at least notch four. Now I see why they added the uh, second switcher for power. Because they would not have been able to do this without the second switcher possibly. Unless we'd be like starting to pull her in notch eight all the damn time. Which we don't want to do for <laughs> at all. Alright, nice work. Now cut the failed locomotive and bring it over to the maintenance track so repairs can begin. Spare locomotive has been brought into service as a replacement. Sounds like a plan. So let's go ahead and come over here. Get off the engineer chair. Come down over here. So we're going to uncouple the F40. There we go. Nice little train here. So let's go ahead and come over here. HEP is all going to get cut off and everything. So we are unlocked there, waiting on air. Let's go ahead and go down to the south storage lead right here. I don't really think we need this locomotive anymore, but just keep it on there for old time's sake, I guess. Release that. There we go. That headlight can be shut off, but I don't think. Yeah, that's that headlight, so it's not even ours. But here we go, that locomotive is getting cut off. Gonna be taken into the storage yard over here. That's the one that's probably going to be uh, coming out. 
There's the maintenance guys, one sitting on a barrel. That's kind of funny. Oh, he's just sitting on a barrel. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, he's like, no work to do, guys. We we're just waiting on this one, and we got nothing to do for the rest of the day. I can barely see, like, in through this locomotive here, so I'm going to try to keep an eye out, make sure there's, like, no switches or nothing we have to do. I don't think we have to do any switches, but... Who knows? So they want it stopped over there, so we'll go ahead and do that bullshit. Alright, so about 30 yards left to go. Let's go ahead and just put the independent brake on. Idle out the throttle. There we go. Stop at the seam off maintenance track. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, you're going to have to get switched. I know that for a fact. Uh, you are fine. You're getting switched. You are getting switched. And you're fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and deal with this now. Forward. Release. Bell. Got our conductor on the shove move over there. I think it's going to switch. Yep, I had a feeling it was going to switch to a 5 mile an hour zone. I didn't even see the speed limit sign until I said something. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and just idle her out right there. Just so we're not, you know, speeding once we get there. And stuff like that. So we just go ahead and just put you back down to switching 1. Because we're not going to be heading out on the road anymore. So we're going to drop her off right there at 272 yards. All right, so it looks like we're actually going to be stopping them right, or stopping this locomotive right in between the workers. So we got the one sitting on the barrel, and of course we have the other two on the other side. So we're going to be stopping this locomotive right in between the barrels here. So right there looks good enough for me, looks good enough for them. I'll wait for the service to pass, which is this one at Menlo Park. So this is going to be the one that couples on to the train where we took this off of. So we'll just go ahead and put you in neutral and set you. There we go. Alright, so here we go, uncoupling the faulty F40 locomotive. Here we go. Not sure why we had to wait for that whole service just to uncouple the locomotive when we could have uncoupled it and then waited. But, I'm not the uh, creator of the scenario, so... Not my business to say anything. Now that, now that is complete, bring your locomotives over to the storage track. Got to love it. Alright, so we go back to the lead here. Release everything, put on the bell. Man, they started moving real quick, didn't they? It's like as soon as you move the throttle, they're like, nope, we're gonna move now, motherfucker. So that F40PH is going to be getting serviced on. 
And one thing I realized as I was watching that train go by is that it said that it was a service that broke down. So I'm kind of wondering why it didn't have a stop at the passenger station to drop off the passengers and stuff. Or even if, you know, to keep the passengers on the train that were heading past Santa Clara and stuff like that. I don't see why I didn't have a stop at Santa Clara to drop off all, to, to like detrain all the passengers or just the ones leaving at Santa Clara. Pull the train into the yard and then, you know, do all that and then just have it continue. But, so I'm not sure if we actually even had passengers on the train. I don't see why they would let them detrain before the platform either. So that kind of doesn't make any sense to me at all. So I'm not quite sure what happened there, but I think we should have actually stopped at Santa Clara to let them detrain. And then had another service pick them up or have that service back up to Santa Clara to pick them back up and then take them, you know, further down the line or wherever they got to go, all that fun stuff. So, I don't know, that's just my opinion. But we're going to go and stop here at the Seamoff Storage Lead and call and then see what else we have to do. Alright, so we're stopping here. Stop at the Santa Clara North Lead. So it looks like we're going to have to switch tracks all the way to there, which is right over there. So I just got to switch the one, I believe. Switch that one and it should take us right on through to there. So that goes straight, that goes straight, straight on through. And then just want to make sure, yep, straight on through. Oh, no, wait, this one didn't. So that one to there, that to there, that to there. Oh, yep, that was right. Okay, cool. Now we're straight on through. We're already moving, which is not good, but it was good that we were moving the right direction. So there we go. There we go. Alright, so 60 yards till our stop here. Alright, so here we go, about ready to stop our locomotives here at the Santa Clara North Lead. Stop it right on that second one, there we go. So we go all the way back down to the Seamoff holding track, which is right there. So we'll set that, switch that way, set her that way. And then set you, oh, nope, wrong way. Set you there, set you that way. And we should be heading back towards the Seamoff storage track next. And I believe we're just gonna shut down the locomotives and call it a day. Alright, so about 30 yards left to go here till we uh, shut these locomotives down. Let's just go ahead and I think we're currently on the track anyway, so let's just go ahead and stop her right here. Perfect, there we go. Maybe we kind of passed it a little bit. Nope, we are good. So, neutral. Uh, remove it. Independent brake is full application, uh, suppression, cut out, lead or, oh, analytic brake to handle off, independent to release, trail 6 or 26, generator field off, great work, now disembark or take a break before your next assignment. Alright, sounds like a plan guys, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know if you guys did in the comment section down below, as well as by hitting that like button if you did enjoy. Take one more look at these Caltrain switchers. This is going to be the last scenario that we actually do for videos. Um, but we will do a stream with these for that 60 minute scenario that we have, as well as we'll be doing a uh, the 60 minute scenario for the uh, cab car as well. As well as possibly a stream, because I had a request to go from San Jose to San Francisco in an MP36. So that will probably be a stream as well. So yeah guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for this one. Like I said, hit the like button as well as that subscribe button with the bell icon as well. Let's go ahead and come over here. Make sure you guys follow me on all the social media that I have linked down in the description below. And let's go and see what we got. So we are level 11, level 8 in Peninsula Corridor. And possibly level up level 4 in the MP15 for 5,345 points. Got a gold medal. Alright guys, well that's going to go ahead and do it for this one. Take care.